We lost grandma. Hey, Ma. I bet this is where you get the wheelchair. Because it says my tree. So peeny. Alright, you have to follow mom. Oh, grandma. You have to follow mom. Yeah, we gotta go through back check. They look not busy over here. No, they look kind of bored there, actually. You should go fix that. Hello. Hey. Hey. There's the ticker. Oh yeah, look at that. Chip and Dale. The snow globe. How cute. Eeyore. I think they're all done around there. Chip and Dale. We've got like massive stuff in this. We can go. You reamed. We can go grab some maps. Stitch! I don't think we want to get in that line, anyways. The clouds are really weird. They're like stringy. <laughs> Just keep going. So they get for stopping. The tree is just so freaking cool. But there's like all different kinds of animals carved into it. And it's really cool. Open it up some more. It's pretty empty right now. They'll move. Grandma's letting it rip. You guys are gonna want to move over. <laughs> I wonder if you can actually like see anything back there. Because of his very unique appearance 
Hamill's also unique, though, because he is the only relative there is to a giraffe. That Okapi's so shy and reclusive, he wasn't even known to the world outside of Africa until 1901. Mythical creature until that time. Now, just before you got on board this truck, the warden told me a black rhinoceros has been seen in this area. I sure hope we're going to see the black rhino, but they're very scarce. Ooh, Ooh bongo, look to the left. See the cinnamon-colored animal? A species of antelope that's so good at hiding, local people call them the ghost of the forest. Now when you look at a hippo, you wouldn't think it, but they're related to whales and dolphins. They're not nearly as good a swimmer, though. Hippos prefer to navigate the river by walking or running on the bottom. They can stay on the bottom holding here. their breath for up to eight minutes. Oh, the horns on this. Local people first saw the white bearded wildebeest. They thought they looked ferocious, so they called them wildebeest. That's the Afrikaans word for wild beast. Ooh, look at the African wild dogs oh off to the left. These are the most efficient hunter on the savanna. Aww. Eighty percent success rate. They hunt in packs. They will chase their prey and they'll run the prey until the prey drops to the ground in total exhaustion. Those are massive. Now, elephants have been known to raid farmers' crops and they can wipe out a crop in a matter of minutes. But the farmers have an interesting way of keeping the elephants out of their fields. Anybody know how they do it? Well, it's bees. Elephants are afraid of bees. The farmers put up what are called beehive fences around their fields. Keeps the elephants away. Giraffe on the right. Look at your animal spotting guide. You'll see a picture of a giraffe. It's a reticulated giraffe. It's its name from the Latin word for net. Reticulata. The coat has a net like appearance to it. These giraffe on the right side are Maasai giraffe. There are different species. Two species look exactly alike except for the coats. The coat of the Maasai has a more irregular pattern to it. But the bridge is gone. Oh boy, and I'll bet it got trampled by that bull elephant, and he can weigh up to 14,000 pounds. Looks like he's packing his lunch. Well, we're not going that way. Probably a good thing, too. We could be in big trouble up ahead, though. I thought I saw a hawk. Look in the tree here to the left. Oh, a hawk right sitting there. Oh. Oh, my goodness. A lot of elephant tracks right here and tusk marks on either side of the road. Elephants will eat this red clay. It gives them minerals and nutrients they don't normally get in their diet. And here's elephants. We are coming up on a herd. A bunch of them. Three. But when flamingos hatch, they are gray. They would stay gray too, except their favorite food is brine shrimp. Come on, brine like, shrimp contains beta right carotene. After the flamingo eat the brine shrimp for a year or so, beta carotene will turn the flamingo pink. Whoa, here's another one coming up on the left. We're right in the heart of cheetah country. Oh boy. Better hope that cheetah's not hungry. We gotta get out of here. See the male? There Looks is. like there's two female there as well. They live in what's called a pride. Dominant male, several females. Here's the largest burrowing mammal in Africa. Coming up on the left. Warthog. 
digs the burrows with its tusks. There's a bunch of them. Okay, it's going. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. I've never been, but my sister loves it.